Tonight, two people are behind bars, charged in connection with the death of a man outside of a convenience store. It happened just before 4 this morning at Al Shahibi food, food Store on Robinson Road in South Prentice Street. The whole thing was caught on camera. 16 WAPT's Andrew Kinsey got his hands on the video that you will only see on 16 WAPT. The parking lot of this 24 hour food mart on Robinson Road transformed into a bloody crime scene early Saturday morning. It was somebody in the ground. He got, he got shot in his head. The shooting left a 30 year old man dead and two suspects behind bars. We come to outside after the shooting and we see the guys killed outside. This surveillance video from outside of the store captured their crime unfold. Shortly before 3 a.m., the car carrying the two suspects pulls into the parking lot. Two men get out and go into the store. Moments later, suspect number one, a woman identified by police as 27-year-old Sarah Brown, also gets out. Brown grabs a young child from the back seat and then gets back into the car. A few seconds later, the car with the victim, 30-year-old Philip Lee, and two of his friends arrives. Lee is the first to get out of the car to greet suspect number two, 30-year-old James Brown. The three appear to exchange a few words, possibly a few jokes, before returning to their cars. And then it happens. Watch closely as the silver Toyota Corolla pulls off. You can see a shiny object emerge from the front passenger side window. Then what appears to be glass shattering from the car with Lee inside. As the suspects speed off, one of Lee's friends rushes to help him. He cussed to her and then she, that's why she shot him. Witnesses say more than three shots were fired into the car. Police say they didn't have to look far to track down their suspects. The two returned to the crime scene just as an officer was patrolling through the area. Inside their car, they recovered this gun. Friends of the victim are in shock. I think we, we should be able to, as people, to be able to come together and get along instead of using violence all the time. Violence don't solve nothing. In Jackson, Andrew Kinsey, 16, WAPT News. Hmm. Police say it's unclear how the suspects knew the victim. Both could make their first appearance before a judge Monday.